All right, how we doing everybody? Matt Moda here with Odds Jam. And in this video, just giving you my favorite anytime touchdown scorer bets for today, Sunday, November 27th. So I got three games total that I'm picking my favorite anytime touchdown scorer bet for, including, excuse me, the Sunday night game between the Eagles and the Packers. But I will start with the 1 p.m. game. We're looking at the Falcons and the Washington Commanders. And my favorite play player, to score a touchdown and this one is Brian Robinson at plus 155 odds at points bet can also get him at plus 150 at FanDuel um, so for these anytime touchdown score bets number one the page that you see on the screen here is just the odds jam line shopping page uh, it's completely free to use just go to sports NFL choose a game and then choose a market so I scroll down to anytime touchdown score Pulls up every odds from all the all the odds from all the books, basically. Um, and the goal here of what we're trying to do is we're trying to look for a player that you obviously like to score, but the most important thing is the value of that player to score. So you need to make sure that when you are looking for a player to score, get a touchdown, score a touchdown, you get um, a good value associated with that play. And that's why I like this Brian Robinson one so much. So plus 155 and plus 150 on uh, points bet and FanDuel. But look across the board at all the other books. DraftKings is kind of close at plus 140. Then we have Tipico, plus 135. Bet365, plus 130. Caesars, plus 118. BetMGM at the lowest at plus 115. Uh, it's kind of, it's ridiculous that the, the difference in odds that you can get from all the different sports books for the same exact bet. There's, there's nothing different, right? Brian Robinson's either going to score or he's not. But if you were betting 100 bucks on BetMGM, you would profit 115. If you bet 100 bucks on points bet, you profit 155. It's a $40 difference, literally $40, just for the same exact play, just from line shopping. So getting the best odds is incredibly important. Um, Brian Robinson has kind of had an interesting year since he's come back from obviously that horrible incident. Um, he had a great game against the Eagles two weeks ago. Uh, and then he had a great matchup last week against the Texans but wasn't able to get one in the end zone. And this week against the Falcons, another team in which he has a great matchup. And I think that the commanders are going to want to throw the ball as much as possible. Um, as good as they have been since Heineke came back, he has five touchdowns and four interceptions. He hasn't, he isn't throwing for that many yards. He's kind of just a gamer, but he's actually not that great of a quarterback. He's just better than Wentz, which isn't saying much, but at least he is. He doesn't actively lose games like Carson Wentz does. So I think that against the Falcons, a team that the commanders have a clear advantage over, they're just going to run the ball. I think they're going to try and have a similar game plan that they did against the Eagles. Now, obviously, the the whole game plan against the Eagles, you're trying to limit offensive possessions for the Eagles because the Eagles are the better team, so you want to limit the possessions and you might make the game have a little bit more variance associated with it. That's obviously not the case against the Falcons, but they're certainly not going to try and air it out either. And the Falcons have one of the worst run defenses in the NFL. So I think Brian Robinson, he's going to be their goal line back. He's going to be their short yardage back. So assuming that it isn't just a total slop fest on the Atlanta Falcons offensive side of the ball, like it was last week against the Texans, that we could probably get um, some good carries, some high leverage carries for Brian Robinson. So plus 155 at points bet. Plus 150 at FanDuel, my two fa or my um, my favorite bet for the 1 p.m. slate. For the 4 p.m. slate, we're looking at the Chargers versus the Cardinals game. And despite thinking that the Cardinals are going to lose, I like DeAndre Hopkins to score a touchdown. So you can get him at plus 113 at Caesars. And again, look at the gap between all the books. Minus 150 at BetMGM, which is just ri ridiculous. The difference in BetMGM towards Caesars. Again, it's you're risking $150 to profit $100 at BetMGM. And at Caesars, you're risking $100 to profit $113. It's just remarkable the gap that we are getting between some of these sports books. And then Hopkins, as much crap as I love giving the Cardinals because they're a joke franchise, joke team, joke head coach, joke quarterback. Hopkins has been incredible since he's come back. He's had nine receptions, I think, in every game except for one. He's had 12 plus targets in every game except for one. He's had 100 yards, I think, in his last two of his last three games, and he scored, I think, in two of his last three games. I was just just looking at the stats. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, but he's been phenomenal since he came back. Uh, the Chargers, uh, mostly because of injuries, just don't have a good defense at all. 
Uh, they, uh, their defense is one of the worst in the NFL. Obviously, giving up a huge, uh, huge game last week to Mahomes, you can kind of understand that. But they've given up huge games to worse teams before. And Kyler Murray just hyper targets DeAndre Hopkins. And I think that the Cardinals will probably get probably scored twice in this game. Hopkins being one of them is quite likely. Uh, so he's my favorite player for this game. I also like James Conner a lot. And the minus 109 at Caesars is pretty good value. I generally try to stick away from any time touchdown scores that are not plus money. Because uh, I think that it's it can be kind of random whether a player scores or not. You could get unlucky. Um, like, you know, on, on Thursday night, I had a big parlay on Dalvin Cook scoring. He had, two, he had uh, multiple carries at the one, couldn't get in. No touchdown form. That's fluky. That was unfortunate. Um, so I try to get these at plus money, so that way you don't have to win 50% of your bets. But James Conner is an, uh, another good bet if you want something a little bit safer. Uh, James Conner, I would recommend. Uh, the, the Chargers defense is bad. What they do the worst job at is stopping the run. Uh, they've had an insane amount of injuries along the defensive line. So Conner getting him at minus 109 isn't horrible, especially when you consider like minus 150, minus 135, minus 150, minus 155 across the board. Good value there, but my official pick is going to be DeAndre Hopkins at plus 113. And the last game, Sunday Night Football between the Packers and my Eagles. Uh, I like Miles Sanders to score a touchdown. So uh, where did he go? Miles Sanders. I just had him up here. I'll just control F it. Um, so plus 118 again on Caesars. We see minus 105, minus 110, plus 100. So no book is giving you better than plus 110. That's only one book at Tipico. And then we see a little bit at plus 105. So the plus 118 is pretty good value. Um, and going to sound like a, just I'm beating a dead horse here, beating that same drum. Packers have the fourth worst run defense in the entire NFL. Miles Sanders has had a pretty good year. I mean, last year was really fluky in which he didn't score at all. It was like a weird cosmic turn of events for him to not score. He's had a much better year this year. And despite some weirdness last week, like they took him off the field for Boston Scott, he's still their number one running back by far. He'll get the most carries. He'll get most of the goal line carries, if not uh, Jalen Hurts. Um, but the Packers, I mean, all this news is coming out about the broken thumb for Aaron Rodgers. He's been horrible all year. I, I do not expect the Packers to get that much going on offense in this one. And I think the Eagles are just going to lean the ground game because they're not going to need to do anything else. The Packers stink at stopping the run. The Eagles are a great running team and they've shown that they won't force the pass if they don't need to. I think that's one of the reasons why the Eagles have been so good this year is they just take the obvious plays that the defense is giving them. They don't try and force a pass play. They don't try and force a target or whatever. They're just going to run what seems like the most logical uh, offense. Now, last week was a little bit rough against the Colts. That's two weeks in a row that they haven't played well. Their offense was pretty good the two weeks prior to that. It was really just last week in which the offense struggled, scored their least amount of points of the year in that last week's, in last week's game. So I think whenever you're reeling, you rely on the run game because it has, has the least amount of variance and least amount of bad play potential. You lean on the run game. Miles Sanders is probably going to get 15 plus carries in this one. He'll probably get in the end zone because of how bad the Packers are at stopping the run. And that is going to be my third and final anytime touchdown bet for today. So if any of these you're tailing or the James Conner one, which I do think is good, uh, comment and let me know. We'd love to hear your feedback, uh, but that's it. So thank you guys for watching and have a good one.